Hey everyone, over the last few weeks we've been reading some stories about sportsmanship. And in most of our books, the characters started out to be a pretty bad sport and turned out to learn a few things about good sportsmanship. Today's story is a little bit different. The title is Mama Lion Wins the Race. The author and illustrated is John J. Muth. This book was published by Scholastic Press. That's the same company that did our book fair, but it's just a different part of the company. This is the part that makes the books instead of selling the books. And this book was copyrighted in 2017, so a couple of years ago. There's Mama Lion. Let's find out what happens. Mama Lion and Tiggy looked out their window into a beautiful morning. Today is race day, said Tiggy. Yes, it is, said Mama Lion. Are we ready? Almost, said Tiggy. There are just one or two things we need to do. I will get our car, said Mama Lion. And I will check our route, said Tiggy. Okay, we're going from here all the way to here. While Tiggy tuned up their car, Mama Lion noticed Tiggy's cup. It was worn and dented and had a hole in it. Hmm, I wonder what the prize will be for the winner, said Mama Lion. I don't know, said Tiggy. Maybe we will win, said Mama Lion. We have to win, said Tiggy. Well, said Mama Lion, winning is fun, but it isn't everything. Hmm. Some of our characters learned that in other books, didn't they? Well, the town square was full of excitement. <gasps> there are the flying pendinis in their car, number three, said Tiggy. Oh, oh, and look, the knitted monkey crew has a banana on their car. And there is Bun Bun with her motorcycle, said Tiggy. Mama Lion and Tiggy passed by the table with all the prizes. First prize was a big fancy trophy. Second place was a nifty small cup. Hmm, thought Mama Lion. Third place was the special banana issue of Monkey Monthly. Let's go, said Mama Lion. It's time to put on our goggles. Everyone watched as the owl officials called out. Ladies and gentlemen, take your marks. Get set. The crowd grew silent. <gasps> the moment grew long. And go! The racers charged forward. The knitted monkeys broke a rule and threw their smallest crew member ahead. <laughs> Penalty whistles blew. The monkeys grinned. Then they apologized. Sorry. Engines roar. Vroom, bum, 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 bum. Spectators on the streets waved and cheered. Go, Mama Lion! Go, monkeys! Go, pandas! Go, Bun Bun! And they were off. First, a sharp bend to the right. Zoom! Then a second to the left. Vroom! The leaders moved swiftly out front. Vroom, bum, 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 zoom! Zoom! As they crossed the river, Mama Lion and Tiggy took the lead. Zoom, boom, 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 boom. And soon they sped ahead, far ahead of the other cars. Zoom, boom, 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 boom. 
Mama Lion noticed the warm wind and the fresh smell of the grass as they breezed through the gentle hills. Wow, the world is beautiful, thought Mama Lion. They hurried farther along and passed two children in their front yard with a puppy. They waved. Ah, the world is friendly, thought Mama. Wow, she's enjoying the journey, isn't she? Zoom! Then Mama Lion caught sight of the flying pandinas, not too far behind, and thought, Ooh, the world is wow! Zoom, zoom! The flying pandinis are zooming up fast, Iggy! Zoom, zoom! Suddenly, something appeared in the road ahead. <gasps> Watch out, said Mama Lion. <gasps> Hold on, said Tiggy as he swerved <coughs> and skidded to a stop. Oh no, said Tiggy. Our wheel has come off. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. It has, said Mama Lion, but you are a very skilled driver. Whew, this butterfly was not harmed. Whew. Pop the trunk and grab our tools, said Tiggy. We must get on the road again. Zoom, zoom. roar of an engine drew close behind them and then gravel crunched and brakes <coughs> screeched as the flying pandinis ground to a stop. Hurry, we must help them, said Baby Panda. Yes, look sharp, said his sister Bow Bow. They are using a number eight spanner and they need a number twelve. The Pandinis quickly bounced out and rolled over to the car. Mama Lion and Tiggy stepped aside. They knew the Pandinis were master mechanics and could fix anything. Just then, Mama Lion saw Bun Bun pass by. She was scattering seeds from her bag. Look, Mom, she will come back and water them after the race, said Tiggy. I've seen her do that before. Bun Bun is really good with plants. Aw, she is a very interesting bunny, said Mama Lion. Suddenly, zoom, another car streaked past them. Oh, there go the monkeys, said Tiggy. We'd better go too said Mama Lion. They thanked the Pandinis and everyone rushed back into their cars. Mama Lion and Tiggy sped off, their car running better than ever. They were already gaining on the knitted monkeys. To hold the lead, <gasps> the knitted monkeys were up to their old tricks. Oh no, said Tiggy. Banana peels. Ugh, we are getting close to the finish, but I don't know if we can win. Just do your best and keep on going, Tiggy, said Mama Lion. Suddenly, the flying pandinis came up from behind. Zoom! Oh my, their car was stuck in reverse. Though so they were driving backward. The monkeys, overcome with ambition, dropped even more banana peels. Oh, slippery. Goodness. Mm-mm-mm. Cheaters. The slippery banana peels sent the pandinis into a skid. 
This popped the gears, though, and spun the car in the right direction. In a dazzling performance, they actually picked up speed. Mama Lion and Tiggy raced ahead. Tiggy said Mama Lion, hey, um, here is our chance to do something really amazing. I know, yeah, said Tiggy, we can win. Or, said Mama Lion, we could not win. Huh? Oh, Tiggy blinked. He looked ahead to the finish line. It was so close. But Tiggy understood. Mama Lion reached over and pulled up the handbrake to slow them down. The checkered flag fell and the flying Pandinis zipped through the finish line in first place. Mama Lion and Tiggy came in a close second, and the knitted monkey crew placed third. Wow, what a celebration. Ah, oh, look at the cake. It's shaped like a racing car wheel. Mmm, look at the big trophy. Pandinis look pretty happy. Mm, but Mama Lion and Tiki look pretty happy too. Where are the monkeys? Yeah, monkeys look like they're happy. Okay, turned out good for everybody, I guess. Back at home, Mama Lion poured some nice hot cocoa into Tiggy's beautiful new cup. Huh, just the thing he needed. Hmm, sometimes things have a way of just working out. Those amazing flying Pandinis stopped to help us, even though it meant they could lose, said Mama Lion. There aren't many friends in this world who would give up winning a race for you. I would say that we won some very good friends today. Hmm, when you look at it that way, yeah, they did win, didn't they? They won the cup. They won those new good friends. Pretty cool. Mama Lion, said Tiggy, I am very glad we were in this race together. Oh, me too, said Mama Lion. <laughs> and on the last page, there's Bun Bun. Even Bun Bun was a winner. Look at her trees growing. Wow, look at that gorgeous motorcycle. I don't know. If I had to pick, I might like to be on Bun Bun's path. Out in the countryside, planting trees, riding that motorcycle. Look at the airplane. Go Bun Bun! Hmm, I think everybody in this story ended up happy. Well, what do you think? Did Mama Lion and Tiggy show sportsmanship? How about the pandas? Hmm, what about the monkeys? Hmm, not so sure about those guys. All right, well, I want to tell you a story real quick about some true winners. These are some stories of some people and I'm gonna to have to adjust just a little bit to get this to fit. These are some winners that, let's see if I can get it up here. Oops, I'm having a little trouble. Can you see this picture? All right, we'll go from here. This is a story of two men who were in a race, and I'm gonna read it to you and see what you think about the sportsmanship here in real life. It says, real life winners. Ivan Fernandez Anaya of Spain was running a cross-country race in Navarra, Spain. He was about to come in second behind Abel Mutai of Kenya. But suddenly, Abel began slowing down as he approached the finish line. Abel did not speak English, so he got confused by the signs and he thought he had already won. Ivan saw what was happening in an instant and could have easily darted past his opponent to win the race himself. 
but instead he slowed his own pace and got up behind Abel and pointed toward the real finish line, pushing him forward so he could win. Ivan was later asked, why did you let him win? He was the rightful winner, Ivan explained. He created a gap that I couldn't have closed if he hadn't made a mistake. As soon as I saw that he was stopping, I knew I wasn't going to pass him. I could have won, but what merit would it be? What would my mother think? Ivan's actions showed extraordinary sportsmanship. How about that? Good sportsmanship is not just in a bunch of good library book stories. It's in real life, too. And here's another story for you. In a similar story from 2012, Megan Vogel of Ohio had just won a big high school state championship race in the 1600 meters. Later that day, it was time to run the next much harder race. As Megan approached the finish line, the runner ahead of her, a younger athlete named Aiden McMath, collapsed. Instead of passing her, Megan ran straight over to Arden, picked her up, and helped her cross the finish line, pushing her just a little bit ahead of herself. Although Megan placed last in that race, she was first in sportsmanship that day. I wanted to share those stories with you just to help us think about all of the games and competitions that we will be a part of in our lives and think about how we want to be remembered. Did we want to be remembered as the person who won but bragged? Do we want to be remembered as the person who won but was humble and thankful? Do we want to be the person who lost but showed great sportsmanship? and knew that they would try more and harder the next time? All important things to think about. All right, in your seesaw today, you have got some questions about the story, Mama Lion Wins the Race, where you're gonna circle some answers, and then you get to build a race car. Miss Olson's gonna have lots of cool car parts down here, and you're gonna click the hand and then drag the parts over to make your own race car. I hope you have fun with that. I can't wait to see what you make. All right, guys, see you later. Bye-bye.